Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Frosty Does It. I'm Frosty, and today we're gonna up the fuel pressure on a Fast 140 system. This is the return side. So we're gonna take this off, and then we're gonna take this fitting off, and behind this fitting inside this block, there's gonna be a spring that regulates your fuel pressure going back to your tank. So it basically is a bypass uh, that bleeds off extra pressure. Right now it's set to 50 PSI. The spring fast sent, sent me, I believe, is 60 to 65 PSI. So I'll show you what it's at right now. We'll turn the key on the truck and we'll show you what it goes up to uh, before and after. And we'll see how easy it is to change out. It looks like 42, 44, 46 maybe. I think the 7.3s are closer to 65 from the factory. I've heard anywhere from 40 to 65. So let's replace that spring and see what we can get it up to. And all you have to do is take off your return line here and then you take this fitting out and behind that fitting there should be a spring. All right, my lines I believe are 22 millimeter. So we'll just go ahead and we'll crack this loose probably gonna lose a bunch of fuel. It's actually a lot less than I thought we would. And then we'll take this filter off so we can get to that a little bit easier. Let that drain for a second. That actually should be enough. I'll just crack that loose. Then behind this, there should be a spring. So there's the spring, there's your fitting. That spring is supposed to sit down inside of it like that. So fast sent me a new return fitting and then also a new spring. All right, here's the new kit that fast sent out. It's PS-1013 MRT1004. I think the PS is the spring and the MRT is the fitting. <clears throat> this is um, supposed to take the 7.3 and the 6 liter kits up to 60 or 65 PSI. They had them set at 50 and I think they were getting a lot of complaints with people's regulated returns where these actually come in the new pumps now. My pump is six months old and I must have missed that. So this is the part number we're going to put in it. Okay, we'll first throw this spring in. Just sits right in there. And then this fitting has a little recess down inside of it where that spring kind of nestles down into. Go ahead and line that spring up in there. And just turn it back on. Take our 22 millimeter wrench and tighten it up. Actually feels a little tight for a 22. It's probably standard. Let me go grab a different wrench. Okay, I just went and grabbed a 7 8 wrench. That seems like it fits a little better. I think that's snugged up. Take our line back up. I picked a great day to do this. It's 
maybe 10 degrees outside. Tighten our filter back up. And I'll go inside and bump the key and we'll see if we get any more fuel pressure out of it. Hoping to see over 60. That is exactly what I wanted to see. It looks like we're at 62, 64, 66, about 66 PSI. That's awesome. That was super easy. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys up and we'll start the truck and we'll see how she likes the new fuel pressure. That literally took two minutes. Um, very, very easy to do. But let's set you up in the tripod and see what happens. Well, it looks like we have some dead batteries to change out. We'll try that again in just a minute. All right, guys, we got the truck started, put the new batteries in it. This is with the, with the truck running. 62, 64, 66, 68. Almost 70. Between 66 and 68, it looks like. Feels nice and smooth, idles well. It's got plenty of pickup. Um, it's pretty cold outside, so I didn't beat on it too hard. Everything's really cold. The fuel is probably um, a little bit thick. So it looks like our fuel pressure before was at 50, and now it's looking at 55, 60, 65, maybe 67 PSI. I'll show you here on the. So 67 PSI, and then the gauge on the filter housing itself is pretty much within a PSI or two of this one. But overall I'm real happy with it. Literally took, I don't know, two minutes. If I wasn't filming, I probably could have had it done in, in a minute or so. You grab the right wrenches, pop your line off, uh, take the fitting off, change the spring, put the fitting back on, tighten everything back up and you're done. It's very easy. If you guys like this video and want to see more, especially on this truck, uh, I've got a couple other projects as well, but the F550 uh, has been a, a huge project. I've worked on this thing uh, for several years now, and I still have a lot of work left to do to it. But if you would like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me keep hitting that record button. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.